Buying a TV is a big choice. While good TVs are more affordable than ever, it can still be difficult to actually pick one out. TV technology has advanced to the point that it takes dedicated cinephiles to distinguish an excellent value display from one that may be considered subpar, especially at a higher price. If you're an average viewer in the market for a new, high-end TV, you may have been overwhelmed by all sorts of jargon for displays with similar stylings that all just look really great. Not to worry though, we've managed to search and comb through what's on offer, and here's our pick for the best 65-inch TVs that are top bang for the buck. Starting with our top pick, sure to satisfy even the most discerning viewer, the Sony A8H comes in with flagship specs at the price of $1,998. Packed inside this 4K display is Sony's top-of-the-line X1 Ultimate chipset, which can also be found powering Sony's 8K displays without a sweat. Rest assured that this raw power puts out amazing image quality on this OLED display. With OLED technology, each pixel can be turned on and off individually. This gives the display a theoretically infinite contrast ratio, which makes any image on screen really pop with vibrance at any viewing angle. The trade-off is that it's not as bright as alternative technology, and it has the ever so slight possibility of burn-in if you keep the same channel or game running 24-7. On the software side, it has HDR10, HLG, and Dolby Vision with Dolby Atmos support. So rest assured that any HDR content you throw at it will be shown in its full glory, though gamers may be disappointed that it doesn't support 4K content at the full 120Hz refresh rate. It runs a very smooth version of Android TV and has a built-in calibrated Netflix, Chromecast, and Google Play Store. Apple users aren't left in the dust though, as the device supports AirPlay and Apple TV just fine. Considering all of this, this model is an ideal display for anyone looking for a home theater centerpiece where bright lights won't be much of an issue. However, truly dedicated cinephiles may have to manually adjust the display settings to achieve the best picture possible. Another interesting feature Sony has to show is its acoustic surface audio technology, which uses the screen itself as the TV's speaker. The sound quality coming from this stock setup is actually enjoyable, even at lower frequencies. Anyone willing to invest in a TV won't need to look for a soundbar anytime soon. From the front, aesthetics for most high-end TVs has fallen into the same few design cues, and this one is no different. Extremely skinny bezels with a small accent bar at the bottom with the logo subtly applied somewhere with a non-intrusive stand if not wall-mounted. From the side, however, things get interesting. The display itself is so thin that most of the hardware that makes it run has to be housed in a plastic extension on the back. Thankfully though, input and output are all side-mounted, so there are no issues if you want to mount it flat on your wall, though it won't be completely flush. Coming in as our first runner-up is the latest TCL 6 Series 65R635 at $948. At $1,000 less than the Sony, this is a bang-for-the-buck option that suits the everyman who just wants a stunning living room TV that works beautifully. From the front, you get much of the same design language as our top pick, with a noticeably more prominent bottom bezel housing both the TCL and Roku TV logos. Ports are also side-facing, so the device can be mounted on a wall with ease. The panel itself shares the same resolution and 120Hz refresh rate, with the major difference being that it runs on Mini-LED or QLED technology. With QLED, you get a cheaper, brighter display with no risk of burn-in in exchange for a slightly thicker form factor, slightly lower contrast, and worse viewing angles. That being said, this particular set manages to show black wonderfully considering the technology and is bright enough to show an excellent picture in well-lit rooms, which is wonderful if you're looking for a new living room TV. The display shows a smooth picture with lush and natural colors. Budget cinephiles may want to look through settings and calibrate the display to get the best possible image though. One noted annoyance is that the brightness settings carry over from non-HDR to HDR content. Hardcore gamers may also find it a bit disappointing that HDMI resolution is capped at 1440p at 120Hz refresh rate. Sound-wise, the speakers perform fairly well, getting quite loud without distortion or major loss in detail. 
For software, it comes with the same Dolby Vision HDR support and Roku TV built in, which offers a fairly snappy interface and accommodates a wide variety of streaming services. Overall, there's not much to complain about considering the price. If you feel the need to be at the cutting edge, you may want to buy Samsung's Q800T 8K TV. Though it's the same physical size and has a similar form factor, this TV has quadrupled the number of pixels on its QLED panel at the same price point as our top choice at $1998. Though true 8K content is few and far between, the TV manages to upscale 4K content beautifully. If future-proofing is on your mind, it has a single high bandwidth HDMI 2.1 port for gaming and a decent response time at 13 milliseconds. Overall, it's pretty decent for both cinema viewing and gaming, but as 8K technology is still relatively young, you may want to hold off for a bit to let it mature and come down further in price. But if you're a gamer that absolutely needs HDMI 2.1 to play games at 4K with a variable refresh rate, the Sony X900H may be exactly what you're looking for at $1,413. For that price, you get a better image out of the box, a bunch of preset picture modes, and full HDMI 2.0 for all your 4K gaming needs. Despite using a standard full-array LED panel, it does extremely well when it comes to contrast, showing vibrant, natural colors. Running on Android with Apple AirPlay, Google Assistant, and Alexa capabilities baked in, you'll have your TV hooked up to your home system in no time. At its price point, this TV punches way above its weight class. If you have a bit more of a budget and want an OLED TV to game on, LG's CX model is what you should get at $1,997. Aside from the phenomenal image quality out of the box and perfect contrast you get from the OLED panel, the TV's gaming mode supports full 4K gaming at 120Hz, NVIDIA's G-Sync and FreeSync VRR to reduce tearing with a response time that's pretty much instant. Sound quality is pretty well balanced too and is decent overall considering the price. When it comes to downsides, aside from WebOS, its rearward facing ports may make wall mounting a bit inconvenient and you still run the risk of burn-in, especially if you play any games with a static heads-up display. Thanks for watching. If you liked our suggestions, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for all sorts of videos covering TVs and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.